One of the hardest hit areas of our community during Harvey, the theater district downtown. That includes the Wortham Center and the Alley Theater. Giant fans and blowers now pump fresh air into those buildings. Channel 2 reporter Ryan Korsgaard got an inside look at the alley. He's live on the front steps where water was standing just a few weeks ago. Ryan? Bill, take a look. The water level is right up here. It has gone down, but you can imagine just a few weeks ago, there was a lake here in this area. The water has gone down on the outside, but it's still a mess inside. That's the high water mark. You are with us going down the stairs into the basement to the new house theater. Water stood two feet above this lobby. So that used to be our bar. That used to be the men's room. That used to be the women's room. This photo snapped after Harvey hit shows the eight feet of water that formed a lake around the alley. The theater downstairs, the prop room, as well as the lower lobby all flooded. We are in the new house theater. Um, there used to be 310 seats in here. There are now none. Um, we've got all the seats out, we've got all the flooring out. Well, remember all of those recent renovations in the Alley Theater? Well, none of this was redone. That's because it was redone after Allison. Now it will be renovated once again. So this is the high water mark for Allison, and we were up, we were way up there. For now, performances scheduled here have moved to the University of Houston. The next performance planned here, a Christmas Carol, starting in November. The good news is that all of our lights, all our theatrical lights in the air did not, did not get um, underwater, so we're actually in the process today of taking, starting to take them out. For now, the rebuilding continues with lots of love and a supportive nationwide cast. The outpouring of support has been amazing. And you can imagine they have new props, if you will, down here at the alley. Uh, this is kind of the scene for blocks down here. You can see these are the blowers uh, pumping that fresh air in. And amazingly, they have gotten most of the sheetrock out. And it actually is starting to smell somewhat fresh again as they've gotten all of that stuff out. But again, a couple more months of work to go. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Ryan.